Hey, and welcome to my world here in Denmark. It's summer, and it's still our summer edition we are on. So it says in scripture that on the seventh day, God rested. Now, I just don't think that this almighty, all-powerful God, he is suffering fatigue. I think he is kind of giving us a model of actually you work and then you rest. You need it. He doesn't. Um, so he steps back after his creation installation. He steps back and then he's like, okay, that's good. I did well here. In fact, he said about humans, as we know, it was very good. So he was happy with what he had done. Um, so do you do that? Do you step back from your creative process and say, like, enjoy what you've just done? It's like, I did well. I did that the other week. I wanted a raised flower bed. And I was looking for what I wanted and I couldn't find it exactly what I wanted. I thought, I just wonder if I can do this myself. So I tried it out and I did it. And I was so proud of myself. I stepped back and said, I can't believe it, but I did this. And it's actually pretty good. It's exactly how I wanted it. I remember some years back, actually 10 years it must be now, it was when Wyram turned 50. And at my base in Sweden, we, uh, we were hosting Wyram Northern Europe. So we had 800 people for an entire week, hosting, feeding, finding beds for everybody, transporting them here and there. It was a lot of work and we had worked hard for months up to this. After this, I was so tired. I just wanted to go home, crawl into a cave and disappear for at least a week. But a co-leader of mine, she said, no, 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 now we celebrate. I thought, really? Another celebration? But we ordered pizzas, two pizza pizzerias, loads of pizza. People stuffed themselves and had a good time. We laughed a bit what didn't work, the small glitches. There were small words of, hey, I'm sorry, I got a bit intense right there. You know, please forgive me. We just laughed at things. It was probably the most important thing we did with the entire celebration, that little celebration, extra celebration. I remember one of the staff members, he said, man, we look good. I think we needed that healthy pride, not a comparison pride, but just like we did this, we pulled it off and we did well. Do you do that as a community? When you're pulled off a big thing that you step back and you celebrate as a base, instead of just going into your caves, I think we need that. But to rest, what do you do for rest? I'm not good at sitting down on the beach for more than five, ten minutes, maybe, maybe half an hour, but then it's stretching it. I need to do th things. I'm an activator. Um, I enjoy doing things. I take pleasure in doing things. Now, at one more point in time, I was very close to hitting the wall. Um, I had just lived through a very intense situation and, and I needed some, something to, to relax, recharge. And I thought being outside always helps me. And research even shows that two hours a week outside increased health benefits. They're talking about adding it to eating vegetables and fruits and all of that. We should probably add it to our DTS curriculum, why not? But I thought, I need to be outside. I saw some people kayaking. I thought, I think I can get into this. I think I could recharge by doing that. So I had this desire of getting a kayak. But I thought, I can't put that in my newsletter. I needed an exhaust for my car more than I needed a kayak. But I just heard the Lord speak to me like, don't you think I would have to take joy and pleasure in giving you a kayak? So I felt the Lord challenged me to put it in my newsletter. And in no time, the money came in for a kayak. Again, the Lord saying, okay, I want to give you what you desire as well, not, not just what you need. So I got this kayak and I have so much joy being in it. I'm in nature, with it, with nature. And God is speaking so much to me in that environment. So how do you recharge? How do you relax? Have you found your sweet spot? I'd, I'd like to encourage you to just Listen to the Lord and listen to yourself. And it's like, what is it that you need to have a restful and relaxing summer?